hosting your brother who is headed to your nemesis. But several months ago, in which I called you out and everyone else out, it's documented on my platform and the No Jumper interview with me and Adam. You said all of these things about Adam. And now all of those things you said about Adam, you're dealing with. Oh, my God. I can't. I don't want to say I can't wait because I'm not looking forward to it. But subhanAllah, I wonder what Allah has in store for for, for Buddy, for, for Flacco. If, if you try sabotaging my career, all that stuff. So anyways, but all those type of things you said about Adam, you're dealing with. He didn't pay. He didn't do this. I'm tired of niggas give, giving niggas a platform. You niggas laughed at that nigga. You niggas, you niggas laugh like, oh, they done with. Oh, no jumper. Don't mention that. Oh, they're over with. We just sold out the Nobu. And at the time, I was men- me- messaging D- uh, DM and Adam22. I'm like, Adam, bro, I hope you straight, bro. He's di- went like he didn't post shit for a minute because of the uh, wedding or whatever. He was like, he wasn't really like, con- like he, he wasn't Adam. He wasn't the 22-ster. So I'm like, bro, this shit's smooth. You're going to bounce back from all this shit, man. This, this, and that. And I see like how it truly affected him. Again, this thing is a millionaire. He not gonna affect us, affect him the way things would affect us. But you can see like that truly hurt him. He really, nigga, at one point AD used to refer to Adam Twenty Two as his twin. That ain't no on camera friendship. They used to call each other twins. Oh, that's my twin, proudly. And and you can't refute this because there's clips all over there, right? So imagine you're at a point in time where you're calling a nigga twin and in a matter of a couple days, the narrative has been changed that you are now the bad guy. You are now not paying. You are now doing weird stuff that they didn't exp- that they never had um, any clue that you were doing. They were underpaid. They helped the platform get to where it was. They done all of this amazing things. Now, look at what the f- I can't say because I'm about to say God. Look at what God has ordained for you. Look at what a God has ordained for you. You are crying here on the community. Well, all you're crying, bro. Any real niggas know this is a cry for help. And that's why I'm not really going to go in on you. Like, you know what I mean? This is more of like, uh, what's the word? Intervention. Because, again, I'm not ace boy pun. I'm not T-Rub. We weren't friends 10 years ago. And I have to keep a safe face with you. I genuinely care about you. And, and, and at one point was uh, inspired by you. And would like to see you back on that trailblazing path. Not this path of you being on another man's platform, crying about his chat, taking sides of your brother. Nigga, this is crazy. Oh, my mom. Adam went on a honeymoon and did a reset and came with a wild game plan and rebuilt. Oh, my mama, he did. 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 <laughs> and to me, like, that shit truly makes me happy. Like, granted, um, I should be over there at No Jumper right now. Like, it's evident I have more views or just as much views as all of the other guests. Um, I have just as much, you know what I mean? Like, uh, before I get it, I had like two, three thousand subs now. You know what I mean? But beyond that, that nigga, during those times, it looked like he was done. It looked like he was cooked. It looked like he was cooking. That killed me for a nigga who's provided me hours of hours of like sanity, of hours of sleeping in my car and knowing like, all right, I'm finna watch the No Jumper show a little bit before I knock out. It's gonna be cool entertainment, laugh, ha ha ha. Forget about the fact that life is so fucked up and crucial right now. But that nigga went through all of that shit and came back like a thug, nigga. That's why I don't take Adam 22 disrespect. Nigga, they killed that nigga. They wanted that nigga to die, bro. That type of shit, all of your employees, unless you like a Joe Budden, unless you like an Adam type nigga, you're not bouncing back from that type of shit. You complaining about your brother who's barely even been on the platform doing this to you. Imagine if it's somebody you've paid checks and checks to. Imagine if somebody you've given a platform to. Somebody who you've shown the world that this person is talented. I swear to God, I knew of T-Rail like maybe... On the MTV show or some shit like that. But I did not know who the fuck a T-Rail, who the fuck a AD was prior to the No Jumper platform. I'm just going to be honest. I know how I feel about AD. <clears throat> but it's many of us who didn't know about these guys before No Jumper. And that's what made it like a, a, a great thing because you're introduced to new people. Now, this nigga introduced these guys to a whole different platform. Put them on, paid them. 
help them get their own platform started, allow them to be not exclusive, right? That what started the whole exclusive thing at No Jumper, where now they were on an exclusive contract, or I think there wasn't a contract, excuse me, and they were able to go on different platforms. Hell, AD had community. Hell, AD had a caffeine deal that Adam Twenty Two had no one and no parts of. He genuinely, truly cared about these niggas. And now that I got my interview, Adam's my dog. I could call that nigga right now. Like, is it really glazing? Because now you, all those things that he was going through, you're dealing with, bro. You're crying about your your younger brother on the community stream. You're stressed. You're dealing oh, with you, it, bro. You want to get paid? Come on. So you want to just show up and do nothing. Shit. You niggas want to show up and do nothing. And that's where you Look the fucking deserve to be at. Show up, get paid, go the fuck home. Look how so sad this shit. You want snacks? You want some motherfucking snacks? Fucking pee on this. Who y'all let leave y'all? This is who y'all let leave y'all? Yeah. Huh? Uh -oh. I had I had some motherfucking tap famous ladies. Y'all let y'all leave. Please, famous tap that like button. Yeah. Famous ladies, chop that like button. Famous, famous, famous. I know I'm in here. Chop this. Tap that like button. Man, hey. You got motherfuckers on something, bro? What you say? Man, you a redneck? How we do? How we do it? I don't give a fuck who you is. Sad. Like nigga, no, no, no. Facts. she coming through. Hurricane gonna clean up house. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, fuck with her. Y'all niggas crazy. No, 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 no. She gonna come and tell her how it is, just like me. We gonna come tell her how it is. Like, what, what y'all niggas doing? No, you're not gonna tell her how it is. That's your problem. And you still up into this like bullshit ass thought process. SQ was the deal. My boy SQ sent me the first super chat in my career. Man, I appreciate you, King Cash. You chopping it with me, Tony. What's the deal? They waiting on eggshells to protect they ch they walk yes you peep that type of shit and that's how I know I got space in this game that's how I know I got action because these niggas protecting they checks they put they're waiting for man to give them their blessing me I'm waiting I'm not waiting but I'm working and allowing God to give me my blessings it don't come from man man can't give me shit that God ain't written for me so you right Tony you right they do walk on eggshells that's why they don't really tweak and say shit. Why the fuck haven't y'all told Smack why doesn't he have his own setup stream? On my mama, Smack was my friend, like one of my childhood friends, and played football with me. Because y'all know when I was playing football, I was a sophomore starter. So my peers and shit have like different kind of respect for me. I would have tweaked on Smack on my mama, nigga. Hold on, bro. You use a podcaster. You We do this shit. We make money off this shit. So what the fuck you do when you go home? You just play with your dick all day? Or you go, you with wifey? You You... All the money you make off here, you ain't bought one camera, you ain't bought one light, you ain't bought one table, you ain't bought one gaming PC. But you got the spaceship outside. On my mama, it would have been problems. And it's love, though. You my brother. We gonna fight, we gonna do whatever, but nigga, that, that's the type of shit I'm talking about. Yes, they walking on eggshells to protect it. Yes, you right about that. Because if real friends don't let real friends do that. Real friends tell to you, real, hey, bro, your image is starting to be tainted. You are no longer the cool, funny, um well-dressed dude anymore you are now the demeaning condescending character on the platform you are now the bougie fuck y'all i'm better than y'all that's what real friends do like yo hey bro and shout out to ads boy pun they weren't trying to like nigga we in front of thousands of people that had seven thousand people in the chat last night they ain't gonna really shit like tell they homie they wrong I'm not saying that. I get it. They did what they supposed to do. We're not going to grill you in front of the camera. But I just hope behind camera somebody's saying this. Because at the end of the day, if shit don't change, wallahi, the relevance of a lot of people is going to be different this time next year. I swear to you. And it's tr it's much more sad when you come from platforms, with millions and millions of subs, thriving, all this. But if things don't change, this time next year, things will be different. Because if you're crying about your audience and about the way you're perceived in March, it's only March, January, February, March, January, February, March, three months into the year, you got people heading over to No Jumper, you got people making accounts, just posting inside stuff. You have people negotiating with Stutterbox, bitch ass, about inside information about your platform. 